Um, who the fuck poses for a thumbnail if their house actually got broken into? Look at what they made the daughter do. What? Ah. As much as your girl over here loves a good paycheck from YouTube, there are like some things like you they don't lie about. Like miscarriages, someone breaking into your house, putting your daughter through emotional stress or your pregnant wife. Like seeing all these receipts that they paid the cops and stuff like to be actors, like they paid actors to play cops, like it's crazy. Like no cops are like, hey, you're on YouTube, what's up? Put me on N during an investigation or ask, oh, this has fingerprints, can I take it? What? Ace family, I'm so disappointed. Us fans of y'all, us fans of y'all and y'all be playing us like this, why? Watch the Ace family apology video. I know they're going out late. I think they're going to pizza at 10 o'clock. So, I watched it with family. And honestly, like, I kind of feel bad that I called their thing fake. Did it all look, like, kind of suspicious. And to be vlogging while you're getting robbed and be posing for the thumbnail, like, it seems odd. But I do really odd things that people are like, why would you do that? It makes no sense. So, that I apologize for. The Lord lazy thing I don't. And I don't really have any comment. I didn't even watch, like, Manny's or Gabriel's. And not to say, like, I don't care about them or anything like that. But, like, the whole, I don't know. I don't know. And it sucks. Like, they're losing subscribers. And that sucks. Like, and I've been not to that extreme. But I've had people definitely, like, shun me and unsubscribe and be, like, mad. And it sucks. But I don't want to, like, add anyone's misery. But the Ace family... Like, I felt bad. You know, I don't. I actually don't watch them, like, religiously. I've probably seen three of their videos. I saw, like, their proposal one. I was also can't proposal videos. I think I saw their gender reveal. Because I'm not even, like, the biggest fan. Not that I'm not a not fan, but I just don't watch them. But I watch that one because I'm going to talk about it. And then Catherine, the, the mother on the channel, was like, you know, people would think. That's implying I'm a bad mother to say that I would, you know, put my daughter through that. And they're right, so... Um, they seem strict enough. I mean, whether someone seems like they're so aware or not doesn't matter, but. I think they're going to seem shook and. It sucks. I've had, when I lived in a house, I had multiple break-ins and it was like so scary. Like it was, it's so scary. And I just never talked about it. So for me, when I watched it, I was like, why would you talk about that? You're just, you know what I mean? But one does things differently. So I'm not, who am I to judge, right? Obviously. Because they said in their video they wouldn't broadcast their drama. And here I am broadcasting their broadcasting drama all the time. And it's that drama person. What are you going to do? So. And that, that does sound. I know how I know how bad. People come into your house. Like. Oh my God. I could tell you so many story times. But like. That's why I would never live in the Hollywood Hills again. It takes. One time I was on hold with 911 for eight minutes. Like, literally eight minutes. Before they even, before even the person asked 911, what's your emergency? I was on hold for seven minutes. You know what I mean? Like, and then once I was on talk with them, like, it took 45 minutes for the cops to get to my house. I had two break-ins in broad daylight and two at nighttime. And it was so terrifying. Mmm. So bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's maybe to be continued, or not, either way, I'm going to see you guys real soon.